Right, hi everyone. So it's exactly 30 days to the next MRCGP AKT exam. So I want to welcome you to the AKT 30 day challenge. I know you've been working really hard. I'm sure you've been doing lots of revision, practicing questions. Often though, when you get about a month out, you can get a little bit fed up of studying. So hopefully this will just give you a little bit of encouragement. We're gonna to try to cover some high yield topics, things that we know people have struggled with in past exams from the examiner's reports. And the format will be, we'll do a question. You'll have 57 seconds to have a look at it and answer it. I'll give you the answer and go through a rapid review of the topic and some important learning points. We'll try to develop exam technique as well as cover some hard topics. And there'll be a video posted every day between now and the next exam. OK, so here we go. Let's start with a question. Here we go. So time's up, let's go through the answers. So the correct answers here are B and E. Okay, so B, day 24 progesterone and E, chlamydia screening. So let's go through the scenario quickly. This lady's been trying to conceive for more than 12 months. So that's uh, 12 months or more. That's when we start thinking about doing these initial investigations. Uh, no significant medical history, um, got regular periods with a 31 day cycle and no history or symptoms of uh, STI. Okay, so first thing is this question's asked for two this is what we call a multiple best answer. To get the one mark, you need to get both options right, okay? Sometimes people miss that, okay? So let's go, go through all the options. So option A, day 21 progesterone. Sometimes people pick this because a lot of women who have a 28 day cycle, this is when you do the test, okay? So if someone's got regular cycle, then you want to do mid luteal progesterone. This is seven days before the end of their cycle. So if you see this lady, because she's got a 31 day cycle, we need to do it at day 24. Take seven away from 31, not at day 21. So that's why B is correct and A is incorrect. Um, sometimes people think about FSH, LH. Um, in the initial test, for someone with a regular cycle, you wouldn't do this. If someone had irregular periods, then you might do uh, FSH and LH levels, okay, if they've got irregular periods, okay. Um, chlamydia screening is recommended, why? Because it's a common cause of infertility and it's asymptomatic in about 70% or so of women. So the fact that she's got no discharge and not had an STI, um, as far as she knows, is still worth screening for. Whereas gonorrhea screening is not recommended in the initial stages. And if someone was symptomatic, you might go for that. Um, thyroid function tests are only recommended if someone's got symptoms of thyroid disease, and this lady didn't have those. Finally, H prolactin levels. So if you think someone's got an ovulatory disorder, like a PCOS, for example, or if they've got galactorrhea, or you think they might have a pituitary tumour, then you might do prolactin levels. But this lady didn't have any of these. So these are some of the things that you might, you know, TFT, prolactin levels, um, FSH, LH levels. You might do in some ladies that had certain symptoms or after the initial, but this question is asking for the most suitable initial test. The two most suitable initial tests are B, day 24, progesterone, so mid luteal progesterone, and then chlamydia screening. Okay, so I um, hope that's been helpful. Um, as I mentioned, you know, we're going to be posting one question every day right up until the next exam. So do subscribe and uh, stay tuned and we'll see you tomorrow for the next question in the 30 day challenge. Keep pushing, keep revising. OK, uh, every question that you top cover, every topic that you revise is going to take you one step closer to getting through this exam and passing. OK, thank you so much. and I'll see you tomorrow.